How do you know if a property is a good buy? As a home buyer, you should also be familiar with the rules for real estate investors such as the 1% rule or 2% rule. They will guide you to determine if a property is a good investment. Aside from the 1% rule and 2% rule, you might also encounter the 50% rule as well as home's gross yield rule, all of which are quite easy to understand. The 1% rule states that you can only invest in a rental property if the monthly rental can cover 1% of the purchase price. For example, if a home is selling for $300,000, it must bring in at least $3,000 in monthly rent for it to be worth your while. However, in reality, this is very difficult to achieve. The 2% rule is twice difficult. It follows the same principle except that the rate has doubled. So, taking our previous example, you now need to get $6,000 in monthly rentals. Receiving $6,000 a month may sound like music to your ears, but it's close to impossible in many situations unless you can buy a property at a low, low, low price. And one more thing, if you were able to buy a property at a big discount, you'd probably need to shell out more money to fix it up so that it can command such a steep rent. The 50% rule simply states that half of your monthly rental would normally go to your operating expenses for the rental property. Lastly, there's a home's gross yield which you can compute by dividing the annual rent by the purchase price. So let's say the annual rent is $25,000 and the purchase price is $300,000. Your gross yield will be 8%. Experts say that if you reach 8% or higher, it's actually pretty good. And if you happen to hit double digits, that's already awesome. These rules do help, but you should not rely on them alone to make your buying decision. It's more accurate to factor in the real costs using real-time figures such as current mortgage rates, home price appreciation, maintenance costs plus your own desire to own versus rent, and a lot of other factors. So, what you need to do is sit down, get your calculator, and do some pencil pushing. This way, you'll get a more accurate picture than merely using rules of thumb. Sometimes, a property will defy the rules. They can be good purchases even if the rules don't say so. In some cases, even overpaying for a property works to the advantage of the homeowner. That's it for now. On our website, you can find more posts as well as calculators and other financial tools. What do you think? Rent or buy? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them on the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube to get more free financial educative videos.